Today we're talking about mitochondrial DNA uh, tests available at Family Tree DNA and how it can help you with your family history. This is part three of a three-part series. In part one, we talked about Family Finder, which is the autosomal DNA test, and how you can find your way around the website. In part two, we talked about the Y DNA tests and how it can help you with the male line in your uh, family history and some of the website tools that they offer there. In part three here, we're talking about the mitochondrial DNA tests and how it can help you with the mother's line of your family tree. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Connie Knox. I am a lifelong genealogist here to help you go further, faster, and factually with your family research. Now don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified each time we upload a video. As a reminder, Genealogy TV has a website, newsletter, and a Facebook page. Links for everything are in the show notes below. I'd like to point out that the entire series is not sponsored by Family Tree DNA, but is here and provided by me to you uh, to help you have a better understanding of what tools are out there for you to help you with your genealogy. If you are interested in signing up with any of the Family Tree DNA uh, products or tests, I have uh, put a link in the show notes below. That is an affiliate link. I would totally appreciate it if you would use that link if you decide that Family Tree DNA products is something for you. This is a footnotes episode, and while I use footnotes for the interviews that I do uh, on Genealogy TV, and I like to call them footnotes because it's in the footnotes where the real sources are, and today's real sources are Clayton Condor, she is the Director of Marketing at Family Tree DNA, and Megan Peters is a project manager there as well. Today, it's all about mitochondrial DNA. Sometimes it's also called mtDNA. You might see that reference around. If you're not familiar, mitochondrial DNA is handed down from the mother to her children, both males and females. So there's a little bit different strategy when using mitochondrial DNA. To learn more about DNA in general and the strategies that I put out in other videos, I've got a playlist that I will put on the screen for you now as well as links in the show notes. Uh, links for the mitochondrial DNA test as well as any of the products from Family Tree DNA uh, again are in the show notes below. Now, let's continue the conversation with our experts at Family Tree DNA, Clayton and Megan, uh, to learn a little bit more about the tools that they have once you have your mitochondrial DNA test results back. Ladies, welcome back. I really appreciate you uh, joining us again uh, to talk about the mitochondrial side of, of Family Tree DNA. And so in the previous two episodes, uh, you know, we've talked about the Family Finder and we've talked about Y-DNA. And now we're going to talk about the mitochondrial DNA. And so um, maybe uh, one of you can explain to the audience who might not be familiar with mitochondrial DNA, what exactly is it? Okay, so I, I can take this one. Um, so mitochondrial DNA is passed on from a mother to her offspring, um, male and female, um, but it does not, it stops at the son. The daughter continue, cont can continue to pass mitochondrial DNA on. Um, so both male and females uh, can take this test. Um, and we've got some really cool, exciting new things coming around the corner or have been released for mitochondrial DNA that we're really excited to share with you. So, Wonderful. Let's hear um, about it. Yeah. So uh, first, we offer two different uh, mitochondrial DNA tests. There's mtDNA plus and then there's uh, MT full sequence. We also call it FMS. Um, and so we really actually recommend the uh, MT full sequence test. Um, there might be specific cases where um, someone does their MT plus, but um, we really, really think that the uh, best route to go is taking your um, FMS test. Um, and just like with Y-DNA and Family Finder, um, we really recommend that um, you join um, Haplo Group projects that are associated with mtDNA um, tests, you know, the geographical um, uh, group projects as well. So again, it's just something that is a really good add value to our customers, no matter what level they've tested at. 
And then just like in uh, YDNA and Family Finder, we have an mtDNA matching database. So just because you, you might have different matches in mtDNA that weren't there in Family Finder or your YDNA test. Uh, you also get your migration uh, map with mtDNA. And you also, with the MT full sequence only, you get these really cool mtDNA journey videos. Uh, that we recent re recently released in the last um, month. And it's just a new feature. It kind of is something you can share uh, on social media. It's your mtDNA journey um, and kind of just combines all your results into a story for you. I did mine and it looks pretty cool, I have to say. Uh, yeah, that little video, it actually is, is a good little uh, education uh, educational piece too because it kind of, you know, kind of tells you uh, how those origins work and how the migrations work across the maps, you know, shows, shows the migration patterns. So that's, it's kind of neat. So uh, here we're going to go over your mtDNA results um, that you'd see if you ordered an mtDNA test. Here you've got somebody who ordered all the way to FMS. Um, if you order the full mitochondrial sequence test, you'll have PLUS show up because it covers um, what PLUS covers and then more. Um, you've got your uh, maternal haplogroup results here, uh, as well as here in your badge. Um, and then we can di take a dive, a little deeper dive into um, what your results would look like for mtDNA. Uh, which will include your mtDNA matches, your ancestral origins, migration maps, and uh, haplogroup origins. As well as here, you've got um, your mutation results. Um, so, and then you've got your video here. And, uh, you know, whether or not you've taken an MT full sequence test with us, um, if you've taken one already, you just log into your account and uh, you go down here into your results, click mtDNA journey video, and you click that and your video will generate. And videos can take anywhere, I would say, from five, mi few minutes um, to, depending on the load of how many people are generating a video at the same time, uh, can take a little bit longer, but they generate relatively pretty quickly. So, so first things first, is going to be your mtDNA matches. Once you get to your mtDNA matches, um, very similar to yDNA, um, you can filter out your matches. Um, you can filter out based on, um, if you're looking at matches, uh, based on like the uh, group projects that you've, you've joined, um, as well as the um, levels that you've tested at. Then you've got the number of matches you wanna see on the page and you can search by uh, last name as well. So you've got your genetic distance here, um, your matches, the tests that they've taken, and then um, their earliest known ancestor. And we've touched base on this before, but again, this information that comes from the earliest known ancestor comes from everyone's, when they go into their account settings, they get asked questions, we ask that you give us information on your earliest known ancestor because the more like we've said before the more information that you provide to help others the more likely others are also going to provide other information too to help you in your research um, so we really ask that people try to go into their account settings and give this information if they can um, and then you've got the your matches mtDNA haplogroups and then the date that they've uh, their match dates with you the earliest known ancestors in the trees um, are going to be the two biggest pieces of information to look at to see to have some idea of where this person might fall in your tree um, and how you're related to them because as you can see all of the surnames are different because typically with um, western naming conventions um, females will take the uh, surname of their husband or father. And so that name isn't being passed down in the maternal line. And so all of the uh, uh, matches that you get, um, whether they're male or female, um, won't follow the, you know, 
mitochondrial line, the maternal line. And so utilizing um, earliest known ancestor information as well as the trees are the the best ways to kind of figure out where everybody falls. Excellent. So pretty much uh, everything for the mitochondrial DNA has a lot of the similar services uh, as the Y DNA, with the exception, I know there's the video. Am I, what other differences are there between the Y DNA and the mitochondrial DNA? Yeah, so um, the, res the results and reports that we provide for um, mtDNA tests are very, very similar to what will be provided for Y DNA. Um, so you'll have matches with each test, um, obviously different lines, but match a match list nonetheless. Um, haplogroups, um, haplogroup origin reports um, will all be provided for um, mtDNA just as, as it is Y. Um, the haplogroup um, migration maps and things like that will um, obviously follow mtDNA migration patterns, um, but it's um, kind of calculated the same way as Y-DNA. So there are mutations and they kind of branch off um, over the generations. Um, so yeah, and then the mtDNA videos, um, those are the biggest, that's the biggest new feature with mtDNA. Uh, okay, so as we're wrapping up these three, uh, three episodes, again, if people want to learn more, just briefly, I want to think that there is there is a uh, help section at the bottom of the website. Did you say there was someplace else they could go if they needed it to, to seek out some more? I think you have a learning center somewhere in there. Yes. So um, we've got a lot of different um, ways users can uh, and potential new customers can get information. Um, first, we really recommend um, uh, the learning center. Uh, the Learning Center, if you are not logged in to your account, you can access the Learning Center by going to the footer of the website, and um, you'll see Learning Center there, and there is a plethora of information in our Learning Center. Um, so that's a great, great resource. Um, we also, again, recommend joining group projects because group project administrators are really great um, they're, they're just going to help offer advice that um, can be really particular to you um, and what your goals are because a lot of times you're joining a group project and you have the same goals in mind, right? Um, and then we also have an amazing customer service team and you can access that customer service. Um, you can contact customer service in three different ways. Um, if you uh, go to our homepage and you go down to the very bottom, there is a contact us page. Um, you can go to that contact us page and you've got three options. You can fill out a form uh, which customer service will contact you back via email. You can call the customer service department. Um, they're open. They're here Monday through uh, Saturday. Uh, their business hours are there. And um, then you can also do a chat. There's a chat option there. And our customer service department super highly educated individuals in the world genealogy as well as the family tree DNA platform. Last thing is we have a forms. Um, you can access the forms as well going down to the bottom in the footer of the homepage. And um, so we've just got a lot of different resources. Wonderful. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And again, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That was a lot of information to take in. Fortunately, the videos are here for you to review over and over again as often as you'd like. As a reminder, if you are interested in purchasing any of the DNA tests, uh, I put an affiliate link in the show notes below for your convenience. So now we've covered the website tools, the family finder, which is the autosomal DNA test, the Y DNA and the mitochondrial all in one place for you in this three-part series. I know there is more coming, so I hope you will subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified each time I upload a video. Genealogy TV has a newsletter, a website, and a Facebook page. You know the rules. There are all those links in the show notes below this video. If you want to learn more about DNA, there are cards on the screen now for you, uh, for your convenience. It's time for you to go find your ancestors. All right, until next time, keep on climbing your family tree.